Are right, you looking for a good mid-range KVM switch for a Mac or a PC? I got you covered. Let's get into it. All right, welcome back to my channel. So if you found this video, found me, you're probably looking for a KVM switch for a Mac or a PC. See how smart I am there? Um, anyways, so I have one today. And what I did is I found a good mid-range, good constructed KVM switch for Mac and PC that works really well. And I wanna go ahead and just show you the features of it. I don't actually, I don't like to get into full reviews because KVM switching and a lot of other products can really depend on the devices you're connecting to it. I've had a really good experience with this, but I wanna give you guys the, just kind of the overview of what this is, why this is a good mid-range KVM switch, give you some pictures up close, let you know what it's all about, and then you can do some of your own research as well. But I do recommend, for me, this worked really good, and so I can't, like I said, fully recommend it because I'm always afraid to do that with a lot of different products that are out there because everyone's got different you know, things connected to this. It's it's gonna make differences, obviously. But with my experience with both PC and Mac, this worked really well for me. Um, so what is a KVM switch? If you don't know, a KVM switch can help declutter your whole desk. Let's just say you have multiple computers, four of them or two of them, and you just wanna use one keyboard, and you also wanna use one monitor. You can go ahead and click a button, and it'll switch between those two different computers or those four different computers really quickly. You can also have one audio port coming out of this, and it'll actually connect to all the different devices if you wanna switch between them and then have the music or the voice come out of just one speaker set and there's a lot of other things you can do with it um, you know obviously it just depends on how you want to use it but most likely they're for businesses that switch between different computers or even people that have setups at home so the reason I wanted to pick this one and this company is called TE smart and I'll have definitely pictures the whole way along here TE Smart make a great KVM. It's all solid metal construction. And I'll have some pictures of their product page. They make a whole bunch of different products here. So they're kind of specialized in these KVM switches. And they, this is gonna just be a two, uh, basically a two computer switching uh, uh, KVM switch here where you can hook up two different computers. But they make models with four and a whole bunch of other different ones. So I'm gonna have links to those in the video's description. You can check all of them out. They're not that, this, is, this runs around 100 bucks or so. The other ones are not that much more. So I found a kind of a good mid-range one here. I'll go through the features for you again, and let's get into the video. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and give you some features of this one, show you why it's what I chose, you know, why I like it, and we'll go from there and we'll wrap up the video. All right, really quickly, number one is the construction. Again, it's all metal solid construction. The front has some nice, very clicky buttons, you can hear it there. Very, very clear as far as what devices you're connecting to it. The model that I have here is basically gonna be the K, I'm sorry, the HKS0201A2U. I'll have a link to this, so don't worry about all that crap. Um, long story short though, it's a very nice solid metal construction. The front of it looks very nice, I'll have pictures of that, but across the board it has a power switch, left and right audio out, and then it has the online switching button, the selector button, which you just heard the little clicky sound, and it actually has an IR output, so you can use this little remote control. It's got a bunch of ways you can control this, I'll get into that in a second, but really it's got like a kind of a remote control from a distance that comes with it as well, so that's a nice feature. So it's got that IRR mode. On the back of it, you can connect, like I said, two different computer devices to this, and I'm going from left to right, it's got the power, and then it's got basically an output to HDMI, which would be to that monitor that you need. It's got a USB 2.0, 2.0 there as well, where if you want to connect to like an external SSD drive or some kind of storage to all your different computers, you can do it through that device. Also, you can connect uh, mice through here. Um, well, actually, the next one is over. So the next one over is the keyboard and the mouse. So if you want a keyboard or mouse, you can connect this into this. That's your keyboard or mouse to kind of you know, work different computers. And, uh, you know, obviously it says you can do like a USB mouse or something like that um, and just select it right into here. And then these other outputs over here are input two and input one. And those are for the two different computers that you hook up. So you hook up both through USB and both through the input, which is HDMI. And the reason I like this is because they ship two different cables with you. I'll have close-ups of this as well. These cables are probably worth 20 bucks a piece by themselves. They have that back, you know, if you notice in the back of this, it has kind of that USB port that almost looks like a printer port almost. And they give you the cables here that actually connect to the back, so don't worry about that. The front of the cables are very standard. They have a USB that you're used to and an HDMI cable on them. So that's very, you know, very nice. And they give you two really solid set of really high gauge cables here. They're about five feet each. That's really nice. 
And uh, you also get a power, little teeny power brick here. You can see it, of, you know, a cool close up of that as well. So, but in the box, you know, obviously this company, here's the box here. I'll just show that to you really quickly as well. It's called TE Smart. That's the way I guess they say it. There's a lot of also documentation online about this whole KVM switch as well. Um, you know, there's some videos online. If you go to YouTube and search, they have done a good job of putting up a lot of information from internal. It's just showing you how to use the device and all that stuff. So I'm not going to get into too much of that. It does have a pretty thick instructions, but this is a couple different languages. And, uh, you know, long story short, I just wanted to go through this really quickly. You know, this one's two computer devices you can control. It's up to 3840, so 4K at 60 hertz. It's HDCP 2.2 compliant, supports HDR10 Dolby Vision. It works with both Linux, Windows, Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora, Mac OS, you name it. Um, support for left and right audio. Comes with a USB 2.0 port, possible to connect barcode scanner, USB drive, and other devices to the KVM. Here's an important thing as well. It's got this ED, or I call it EDID, but it's EDID emulators. So basically your screen will be very accurate when you switch back and forth. And one thing I noticed with this is this device actually, it's very quick on the switching. So a lot of devices, when you get cheaper KVMs, they don't switch that quickly. This one can switch between both the different systems Systems that you connect to it within about two or three seconds. Same with keyboards and everything else. So it's a very uh, fast device, and it's you know, in, in, in whatever you're doing on the system, it won't go crazy any like the resolutions and stuff like that because of that emulator that's built into it. Um, again, overall. It's a very simple device, even though it's got a lot of different cables and a lot of different manuals and stuff like that. It's really just to help you connect multiple devices to a single monitor and keyboard set um, or a storage device and things like that. There's a whole bunch of different features built into here, um, and it tells you a little bit about each port and stuff like that. But realistically, it's, it's like I said, very simple. You kind of know if you need it and you know if you don't. Um, if you need it, then definitely pick one up because I think this is actually a pretty good model for that. Um, if we go to their website, like I said, they're around 100 bucks. And you know, there comes in both black, and I'll show you another picture red if you want a red one. They make ones that are rack mountable, they make other ones that just go on your desk, kind of like this one. Um, but again, you could step on this and it's not going to break, it's a full metal construction. On the back side of it, it has some little fan holes or some cooling holes, I guess you'd call them. I'm not sure there's fans in there, but it's kind of well cooled. But basically, in the sides as well, it's got some slots for cooling, so you know it's going to last a long time. For me, it's worked really well though, it's you know, just solid construction. Um, and if we just kind of go down the web page here, again, 4K 60 hertz pass through for mouse and, and keyboard, HDMI 2.0, HDCP 2.2, HDR10. It's got a lot of different things. It's aluminum alloy, it says. It's about, uh, let me see here, uh, product dimensions. It's about a half a pound, maybe six to eight ounces, somewhere in that range, so not too heavy either. Anyways, I recommend them. So if you're looking for a device like this, I would pick one up. Um, you can always, obviously, test things with your own devices because I can never tell you if your devices are gonna work, your monitor. There's so many different electronics out there that at the end of the day, it's hard to kind of go through and, 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 and let everyone know it's gonna work or not. But I'll have some pictures in here. It tells you kind of, what's what's accepted what's not it lists compatible keyboards in the manual but it says other ones can work so at the end of the day you kind of have to test it yourself um, one thing also it does have a number of switching modes where you can switch it goes between the front panel here which is that little clicky button. It also has an IR remote, which I talked about, it has keyboard hotkeys, and then it also has a mouse gesture, which you can actually move your mouse on one screen and it'll switch over to the other one if you set that up correctly. Um, again, a whole bunch of different models. I'll have some pictures of this up there, but they make a whole line of these things. So check them out. It's TE Smart. I just wanted to kind of get the word out there that this is a good company, makes solid devices. You know, if you're looking for a KVM switch for a Mac or a PC, this might be one you want to pick up. Hopefully you guys like these videos just to kind of get the, the information out there. Again, they're not a full review. I don't do that a lot of times because I don't spend a, a year with it. I don't know how long a year, you know, if this is going to last a year or not. All I can tell you is these are the features. They're not bad for the money. It's a mid-range. It's not going to be the highest or the lowest. And uh, so far, so good. We'll talk to you soon. Check out TE Smart. Not a bad product at all. Peace.